In this presentation, we will discuss tracker programs in a bit more detail. The DHIS2 tracker is essentially an extension of the DHIS2 platform, which allows for the collection of individual information. This supports the management, data collection, and analysis of transactional or disaggregated data. Within the DHIS2 tracker, individuals can be enrolled in longitudinal and chronic health programs. Note that we can also enroll other types of entities, but we will be focusing on enrolling an individual in a set of health services in this example. If we enroll this individual into one of these health programs, we can then schedule their subsequent visits, send reminders to the person to attend the different services, and track any of their missed health appointments. For DHIS2 Tracker, programs can have multiple stages or single stages similar to an event program. However, they must always be attached to a registered entity. This statement is referring to how Tracker programs can separate different stages of care within the same health program. If we review an event program, like the malaria example that we looked at earlier, when a patient comes in, they receive their set of services for malaria and then when they leave the facility, that program is over. If they come back to the facility, they're simply registered as a new case of malaria. Within a tracker program, however, you can have multiple stages attached to a singular health program. This allows you to track that individual through all of the various services they receive in relation to that health program. This must be attached to a registered entity. If we are tracking a person through their set of health services, we must make sure that we are registering that person in Tracker. These multiple stages can be defined through the user interface. This will allow for us to track the person through each stage of the program. Within Tracker, there is a person dashboard, which can be used to get an overview of a client's status within their individual programs. We will demonstrate this in a bit later on. We can take the transactional data that we collect and create automated aggregation queries. We can also populate the aggregated data warehouse all directly within the same DHIS2 system. Some examples of tracker programs include, for single events, we have maternal deaths and birth registration. Remember, these are one-off events. If we have a maternal death, that is a single event that occurs for that particular program. The same is true of birth registration. We would register the child after birth, and then the program is over. We also have programs that can contain multiple events. For example, if we register a pregnant mother and want to track her through her set of antenatal care, delivery, and postnatal care services, this program will have multiple events. These are connected to each time that pregnant mother comes in and receives these different services. We could also look at an example tracking a child through their first two years of care. This links back to the 1000 most vulnerable days use case that we presented earlier. We could also track a lab sample, which will go through various stages before the final result is obtained. And we can also look at patients receiving antiretroviral therapy treatment. Each time the patient comes back to receive ART treatment is an example of an event. Let's look at one example in a bit more detail. In this example, we're tracking a mother through her set of antenatal care services. The first step in Tracker is to register the mother within DHIS2. This means that we will enter some unique identifying characteristics of this person. We will then enroll her in the antenatal care program. This allows us to connect the mother with the health program that she is receiving services for. Within that health program, we can have multiple events. This can include the individual antenatal care visits that the mother is coming for. Within each of these visits, she may receive a different set of health services. 
So by creating this type of program, we can review the individual details of each of these events, perform data analysis collectively on these events, and send reminders to the mother to ensure that she is attending all of her necessary antenatal care visits. We will use this example to demonstrate some of the concepts of Tracker within Tracker Capture, which is the application we use to collect Tracker data in DHIS2. Please let us know if you have any questions about what we've described in this presentation. In the next session, we will move on and demonstrate some of these concepts in the DHIS2 Tracker Capture application.